uh, great to get you know different guys a lot of minutes out on the court. Um, we've seen Yanni play really well, you know, in practice, and just that he hasn't had a, a lot of opportunity to go out and, and really get comfortable out there. And it's nice to see him get comfortable and do the things that we've been seeing him do in practice. Um, same with Aaron. You know, it's great to get Aaron in a rhythm. Um, you know, his 13 rebounds was spectacular. And uh, he had some highlight blocks, um, which we've seen in practice, but it's the first time we've seen it in the game. So it's nice that other people got to see it. I um, thought our energy was good. Um, you know, 20 turnovers is too many, but happy with 27 assists. Yeah, I mean, we've seen you in practice make a lot of threes. Didn't really shot that many through the first few games. This, did you feel like a night like this would, would, would happen eventually? Yeah, yeah, I was definitely waiting on it to, for sure. I mean, I was kind of limited, limited myself and haven't really found a rhythm coming in so far. So it was nice to kind of get in there today and really find a rhythm and get the threes going and a couple of layups inside. So that was great. And Aaron, it's kind of the opposite for you. We've known you as a shooter and you were most of your plays were above the rim tonight. Do you feel like that's something that you can develop over time? Oh, uh, yeah. I just haven't been uh, as aggressive in the first few games attacking the rim, uh, sort of settling for threes. And uh, I know I'm not shooting the ball as well as I, I can and as I want to. So I just made it how big of an adjustment has it been to you? You've obviously played college ball before, but not at this level. Just how much is, has it been easier to get used to the speed of the game and things like that with more playing time? Um, I think the biggest shock was when I first came into practice last summer. Um, it took me about three to four months to adjust to the speed of the game coming from D2, but just throughout my red year, I kind of adjusted to that speed, so I feel like I'm pretty acclimatized to it now. Aaron, after losing, uh, losing Darius the way you guys did, you, you nearly broke the scoring record tonight as a team. Is that is this the type of game you feel like you guys kind of needed to get over the hump? Mm -hmm. uh, as a team, uh, I knew with Darius being out tonight, there was a big hole to fill because obviously he was our leader. So we had to come in together collectively as a team, and we had to we had to win tonight as a team. So I mean, we definitely needed this win to help us lose against. Aaron, you and Simi and Darius came in together, so I'm sure you talked and built a relationship ahead of time. What was it like to find out about his injury? How did you guys react to that? Uh, I, I didn't believe it at first. I, I actually really didn't. He said, uh, he said the team text, and I read it. I texted him, so please tell me it wasn't true. But I mean, sadly, things happen, but God has a plan for him, and I know he's going to be all right. But I mean, it definitely hurt the team, but like I said before, we're going to have to come together, and we're going to have to string these ones together. And I know we can what kind of spark you tonight, maybe? Uh, I think, I mean, yes, the team definitely used it as fuel, for sure. But, I mean, this, this was the one inside of us. We just, we just needed to bring it out. What kind of things did he say to you guys going forward about playing on without him? Uh, he's going to be with us every step of the way. I mean, he's a brother for life, no matter what happens. I mean, he's always with us, we're always with him. Aaron, you guys were able to break the press a lot in the first half. Was that kind of the focal point in practice throughout the week? Uh, yeah, we knew we knew they were going to press and uh, play fast, but I actually, I'm glad they pressed us the whole game because we're going to need it. So, I mean, late, if come to NC State, late game situation, if they press us, we're ready for it. So, that's the first time we've uh, faced it. Any so. more for the guys? Okay. Thanks, fellas. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Coach, what, what was that like finding out about Darius' injury? How did you guys react as a staff? How did you? talk to the team about that? I mean, it's definitely been an emotional uh, roller coaster the last uh, couple of days. You know, you know, I've known his family, I've known him for such a long time. You know, first I'm just crushed for him he doesn't get to play. Um, when he was playing so well, our team was really getting better and getting to where we wanted to get. Um, so first I'm just, you know, crushed for him and his family. Um, then, you know, next I think as a coach, you got to prepare your team. and. And, and our team is very close, like they're very close together. So, um, you know, our, our players, you know, you can tell that they're affected um, because they really care for them and they want them with us. Um, but I was really proud of them that they came out and they were able to, to focus on the game and, and the task at hand. We did not do a lot of practice, so we went over their press, but, um, you know, we gave the guys a couple of days off to, to, to kind of get away and, uh, and try to get refocused coming in. How do you handle that? Do you? kind of consider you have a few days of grieving period, maybe a night like this to just to get used to playing again and then is it is it clear the slate and we've got to move on with things. How do you handle that? You know it's probably a little bit of both. You know, I, I don't think it's something that we're just like, oh we're over it and we're gonna move on. Um, but we know that, that we have a, a lot of good
good players on our team, and we know that we have a lot ahead of us, and we have to move forward uh, the best that we can and prepare the best that we can. And uh, these guys are motivated. They want to be successful. They want to win. And, you know, I think when he gets back with us on the bench, I think that'll, that'll help even more when they see him actually physically there cheering and, and with us. So aside from the psychological things, X's and O's, how does this change your team? You know, it definitely uh, will change. You know, different players have different talents, different abilities. You know, uh, we ran a lot of offense through Darius. Uh, he made a lot of guys better on the court. And we're going to have to, um, you know, find ways to, to exploit some of the, the, the positives that some of our guys have in different ways that Darius just did naturally. You know, we'll have to try to draw stuff up or do some different things to, to bring out some strengths. Had to be pleased with the way Saban and Max stepped up then, right? Uh, really played well. You know, I, th I thought Saban did, did a nice job, and um, I thought Max came off the bench and did a really, really nice job at, at the point. And, and again, he hasn't gotten a lot of minutes this year to the last two games, and it's, it's nice that his, his hard work, you know, in these last few weeks, conditioning-wise and, and just uh, feel-wise, um, are paying off. Yeah. So what's Darius's role going to be now? At every practice on the bench, what, 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 how's he going to help? Yeah, his parents joked. They said they were going to find him a black suit and gold tie and uh, for the rest of the year. So so I was like, great, we'll bring him down let him coach with us. So so we'll see when he gets back. You know, obviously the first part will be protecting his knee wherever he's sitting so no balls or anything go and hurt his knee. But once he gets beyond that, you know, we'll, we'll welcome him um, around as much as possible. I, I know this is a long time away, but Michael Porter last year at the end of the year said, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. Possibility at all, or is that let's talk about that in a few months? Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. So, so he won't be back. Um, you know, the rest of the season. You built your team around him. How do you sort of deconstruct that and move forward? Yeah, save him to do most of the things that he did, or do you have a different plan since he's a different guy? Yeah, you know, um, the the clock's ticking, so we got about 16 hours before practice, I think, and and we'll have a game plan. Um, you know, to move forward. But, you know, Saban has uh, some strengths that are different than Darius's strengths. So now we got to find ways, um, you know, to, to utilize him, you know, especially through our offense. And, uh, you know, Simi. Simi can, can make other guys better around him. And, you know, we'll have to try to put him in some more situations on offense also. Coach, you, Coach, you guys took uh, Darius out of the lineup, obviously put Cleavon Brown in at the mm -hmm. five. Is that kind of the plan going forward, a little more size to counteract that? You know, we only have nine available guys, and so we're going to have to probably play bigger at times than what we played, you know, the first four games. And so, um, you know, I think it, it'll be something that changes, you know, game to game or even throughout the season just with matchups. We thought Simi and Cleveland have played pretty well in the first few games, so we want to try to give them a chance to, to play together a little bit more. Out rebounding them 49 to 27, does that kind of validate that for you? You know, last game we got rebounded Kent by 20 also. So, you know, I, I, I think as this team – you know, as we start to, you know, define ourselves who we are, you know, we're going to have to rebound the ball well. You know, again, Darius gave us, you know, a, a big spur on that offensive end that, that we could put up points really quickly. You know, we have the potential to do that, but we're going to have to lock in even more to the finer details stuff moving forward. What meaningful things can you take away from tonight? You know, we had 20 turnover turnovers, it's way too many, but we got to face some pressure and people got to handle the ball. And again, people got to be out on the court more. A lot of our guys just haven't been out on Memorial, you know, very much, or it's been, you know, sparingly in tight games. And so it was great to get, again, like Aaron, Yanni, substantial minutes where they could really get comfortable, play through mistakes, play through some misses, play through turnovers, and um, start to feel more comfortable out there. What do you think made uh, Aaron so effective tonight? You know, Aaron's been really good in practice. You know, anytime you're a freshman, you know, you're trying to figure some things out. So, you know, what's a good shot, what's not a good shot? You know, where are my spots, where are not my spots? And, you know, we've seen him make those blocks in practice. Um, you know, like, like he said, he shoots the ball way better than what he's even shooting it now. But um, he's going to be a really, really good player for us. Can you speak to how difficult December is about to be with the schedule you have coming up? Yeah, you know, it's uh, some great challenges, some great opportunities for us. You know, we're going to have to grow quickly. Again, um, we told our guys, you know, be ready to come tomorrow and work because, um, you know, we got a lot of work to do before the game on Saturday. Any more for Coach? Okay.